Hey bougie click. Today, we're diving into a topic that's been a significant point of discussion within the black community, colorism. Traditionally, lighter skin has been associated with privilege and beauty, often overshadowing those with darker complexions. But what happens when this dynamic is flipped? In some contexts, darker skin is celebrated, leaving lighter-skinned individuals, especially monoracial light-skinned women, feeling overlooked. Join me as we explore this complex phenomenon through the lens of the iconic film Black Panther and its depiction of Wakanda. We'll uncover the layers of representation in media and discuss what it means for us today. Stay tuned, and let's get into it! The Hidden Perks of Dark Skin Black Panther Analysis Dark skin carries significant social benefits, particularly in how it enhances perceptions of authenticity within Black communities. This perception fosters a deeper sense of belonging and acceptance, as darker skin is often seen as a stronger connection to African heritage and traditions. For example, in many African and Caribbean communities, individuals with darker skin are often viewed as more deeply rooted in cultural practices and histories, which can lead to greater respect and leadership opportunities within these communities. This authenticity can also be seen in social movements, where leaders with darker skin are often perceived as more credible and representative of the community's struggles and aspirations. Conversely, light-skinned monoracials are often left out of conversations for not being black enough and are viewed as less culturally authentic. This exclusion can lead to feelings of marginalization and a struggle to find acceptance within their own communities. Additionally, skin tone often becomes a significant issue when it comes to sexual preference within the black community. Preferences for lighter or darker skin can influence dating and relationship dynamics, sometimes leading to biases and stereotypes that affect personal interactions. However, in broader societal contexts, being perceived as more authentically black can open unique opportunities in industries like entertainment and fashion. For instance, celebrities such as Lupita Nyong'o and Idris Elba have become icons of beauty and cultural representation, challenging mainstream beauty standards and promoting diversity. Their visibility and success have inspired many to embrace their natural complexion and celebrate their heritage. Embracing these social benefits not only boosts self-esteem but also contributes to a richer, more inclusive cultural narrative. The Celebration of Darker Skin in Black Panther Black Panther was a groundbreaking film for many reasons, not least of which was its celebration of African culture and aesthetics. The film's cast predominantly featured actors with darker skin tones, a deliberate choice that resonated with audiences worldwide. This representation was a powerful statement against the historical marginalization of darker-skinned individuals in Hollywood. Characters like Chala, Okoye, and Nakia were portrayed as strong, intelligent, and beautiful, challenging the stereotypes that have long plagued darker-skinned individuals. The Marginalization of Monoracial Light-Skinned Women While Black Panther made significant strides in representing darker-skinned individuals, it also highlighted a gap in representation for monoracial light-skinned women. In an effort to move away from the trope of biracial individuals being the default representation of blackness, the film inadvertently sidelined those who are monoracial and light-skinned. This group often finds itself in a unique position, not fitting the traditional mold of either light-skinned privilege or darker-skinned marginalization. Navigating Identity Growing up as a monoracial light-skinned woman with two black parents, I often found myself in a peculiar position. My lighter complexion frequently led others to question my blackness, making me feel like an outsider within my own community. I remember a particular incident in high school when a classmate, upon learning that both my parents were black, exclaimed, but you don't look black enough. This comment, though perhaps not intended to hurt, struck a chord deep within me. It was a stark reminder of the narrow definitions of blackness that society often imposes. Despite my lighter skin, I did not feel the privilege that many assumed I had. Instead, I grappled with a sense of invisibility, feeling neither fully accepted by those who shared my heritage nor by those who saw me as an anomaly. 
Watching Black Panther, I was thrilled to see the celebration of darker-skinned beauty, yet I couldn't help but feel a pang of longing for representation that included women like me. The film's powerful imagery and characters were a step forward, but they also highlighted the gaps that still exist in our narratives. The Overlooked Struggles Monoracial light-skinned women face a distinct set of challenges. Despite their lighter skin, they do not benefit from the same level of visibility or representation as their biracial counterparts. Media often overlooks them, assuming that their lighter skin affords them enough privilege to negate the need for representation. This assumption is flawed and ignores the nuanced experiences of these individuals. They, too, face colorism, albeit in a different form, and their stories are equally deserving of attention. Although I love actresses like Zendaya and deeply appreciate her talent and the strides she has made for representation, when I look at her, I don't see myself reflected. Zendaya, with her biracial heritage, often embodies a different narrative and set of experiences than my own. While we may share some common struggles related to colorism and identity, our stories diverge in significant ways. As a monoracial light-skinned woman with two black parents, my journey through identity and acceptance has its own unique challenges and nuances that are not always captured in the experiences of biracial individuals. Monoracial light-skinned women often find themselves in a unique and challenging position. Unlike biracial women, whose experiences and struggles are more frequently represented in media, monoracial light-skinned women do not see themselves reflected in these narratives. While there may be similarities in the challenges faced by both groups, such as navigating identity and combating stereotypes, the stories and experiences of monoracial light-skinned women are distinct and deserve their own space. The lack of representation can lead to feelings of isolation and invisibility, as their unique perspectives are often overshadowed by broader discussions of colorism that do not fully encompass their experiences. It feels like we are constantly excluded from blackness, and it hurts because I don't identify as anything else, like biracial women. Sometimes it feels like you did something wrong by being born lighter. Seeing more monoracial light-skinned women in media would provide a fuller, richer tapestry of black experiences, allowing more people to see themselves authentically represented. This inclusive approach is essential for dismantling the complex web of colorism and achieving genuine representation for all. The need for inclusive representation. The success of Black Panther demonstrates the power of representation and the importance of diverse narratives. However, true inclusivity means acknowledging and addressing the gaps that still exist. Monoracial light-skinned women should not be left in the dust in the quest to correct historical wrongs. Their experiences and identities are valid and should be reflected in media alongside those of darker-skinned individuals. Colorism is a multifaceted issue that affects individuals differently based on their unique circumstances. While Black Panther made significant strides in celebrating darker skin, it also highlighted the need for more inclusive representation that encompasses the full spectrum of Black experiences. Monoracial light-skinned women, often overlooked in discussions of colorism, deserve to have their stories told and their struggles acknowledged. Only through a truly inclusive approach can we hope to dismantle the complex web of colorism and achieve genuine representation for all. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this journey as much as I did. If you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Your support means the world to me and helps this community grow. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. I'd love to hear your thoughts and suggestions, so please leave a comment below. Let's keep this conversation going. Remember, life is a beautiful journey, and I'm so grateful to have you along for the ride. Until next time, stay elegant, stay inspired, and keep living your best life. What do you think? Are dark-skinned people seen as blacker culturally? Let me know in the comments section. Stay bougie.